we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Say hello. Hello. How you doing? I am. Hello. I'm a dummy. Hey y'all. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Um, you guys just saw baby boy going down for his nap. This is his first nap of the day. Sometimes he goes down earlier than this. Um, this one is a little bit later, but I could tell he was sitting there. He wasn't playing with his toys. He was rubbing his eyes. So I know it's time for his nap. So usually when we get up, I get him up and Jade is usually up at the same time. We have breakfast for them. Then the boys get up, they get breakfast. And then they, I put them down on the floor to like play. They play with their toys, which I never, got to put everything away last night so it's all still out all over the floor as you just saw the house is an absolute mess so I asked them if they wanted to do music time or if they just wanted to play they said they just wanted to play so I'm gonna let them do that while the baby sleeps so I can try to clean up some of this stuff and then I guess we'll see from there I try to like schedule things out loosely throughout the day like in my mind of what I want to do at certain times of the day. I just don't stick to like the strictest schedule when it goes by like time, other than trying to get naps done around the same time every day. So uh, I need to go in and check on the baby. Since he can crawl now, he tries to crawl off the bed. So I can't really, um, you know, just leave him in there by himself unless I know he's totally zonked out and he's passed out. But the door stays open so that if I'm in the kitchen, I can literally see him <laughs> right here. And I always like, you know, keep looking. So we do have the pack and play in the room now because again, since he's crawling now, I wanna be able to put him in the pack and play or a crib to sleep in. So we're trying to transition into that. And so far he is not a fan of sleeping in the pack and play. I have to go in there like a hundred times to try to get him back down and it's just not working out. So we're still gonna work on it though. Um, I still do co-sleep with him at nighttime and sometimes during the day, um, if the other kids are kind of just doing their own thing, I will lay down with him for one of his naps. I don't always fall asleep with him, but I do lay down with him and just relax and breastfeed him one time. Yes, baby. Yes. Put it in the coin base, baby, in your bank. So I'm just gonna, you know, keep at it with him and try to get him to sleep in that pack and play or a crib, whatever you want to call it. Um, during the day for nap time. That's usually how I start it. I don't want to just throw him in there at nighttime He won't do it. So starting slowly by trying to do it for nap time If I have the time, you know to like keep going back and forth in there to get him to lay down and the other problem is is for one he's not used to being in a crib or a pack and play he's used to sleeping in my bed so that's where he's most comfortable that's where he's most secure um but i don't have i don't have blackout curtains so i think that's another problem is if i put him in the crib and it's not dark in there it's a lot harder for him so i think if i get blackout curtains or maybe that pod thing that goes over the pack and play it might help so i don't know i'm gonna have to do something about that I look like that monkey that claps with the things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twinkle little star. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> okay, it's time for another cup of coffee so I can get this stuff clean. <laughs> If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this and on some of my other YouTube videos, especially day in the life videos like this one. Um, but I use the vanilla. Well, I, I like all of them. I like the caramel macchiato, the mocha and the vanilla. I just switch between the three, the three of them, depending on what's in stock. So vanilla latte was in stock. So I'm going to pour this and I found these at my HEB. You could probably find them online, but I also want to get those really cool. Like, I think they call them beer can or soda can glasses, I don't know, something like that. They're really cool looking, so I wanna get some of those. I found them on Amazon. I think it come in a, like a four pack. But yeah, I definitely wanna try those out eventually. But for now, this is what I use to drink my coffee out of, and I have my Public Goods uh, bamboo straws, which I love these. And if you haven't seen my video on Public Goods, I will link it here for you if you wanna check it out. Let me make my coffee. This is gonna go in here first. And then I use the Chobani coffee creamer. This is the cookies and cream flavored. And I love this stuff, y'all. It's not too sweet, but it's just sweet enough. And it's literally simple ingredients. There's not a whole bunch of crap in it. So that's another reason why I love it. But this one is my go-to. No matter what coffee I drink, whether it's the mocha, the caramel macchiato, or the vanilla, I always put this cookies and cream one in. And you do have to shake it up pretty good because it can get, like the milk can get clumpy in there if it's um, not shaken well. And then I used to, I just felt my foot. <laughs> I used to put this uh, sweet cream cold foam from a can. I think it's Ready Whip that does it and put that on top, but I'm out right now. So I don't have that, but that is really yummy too. It's, it gives it a little bit of extra sweetness. If you've ever had sweet cream cold foam from Starbucks, it's almost the exact same thing, but in a can form except for this is definitely sweeter than Starbucks. Oh my gosh, it's so good, y'all. Mm -hmm. I could drink like four of these a day, which is not good, but I have before. All right, time to get, to get cleaning. We need to get some crap done.
That's how you do the boo boo day. <laughs> I don't think I've shown y'all that he can crawl now since my last vlog. Come here, Booze, look. Come on. Ow. Right here, sissy. Look at him go. Come on. Look. Come on, Boo. Come on. Yeah, Boo Boo, look at him go. See, it's been about, what, two weeks now that he's been able to crawl? <laughs> he was or a week and a half? Day. Yeah, he's only been crawling for like a week and a half, almost two weeks, and now he's already ready to try to stand up and walk. Yay, boo! Just here, y'all. He needs a bath. He's pretending to be baby. Come on, sissy, crawl, mama, crawl! <laughs> Yay! You did it, mama. This is how I do it. Come on, crawl. <laughs> Everybody's crawling. Your turn. Okay, crawl. <laughs> you guys are funny. Thank you, sissy. That was sweet, mama. Ah, done, booze. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that face, it's so cute. Y'all, this is still my favorite decorations in the house. <laughs> I'm still trying to like recreate kind of this vibe in the living room and in the other rooms, but I love it. <laughs> See, the boys are helping mommy by picking up the toys, or the toys, at least the toys that they don't want to play with, because Jade is going to go down for her nap after she takes a bath, and then we'll do lunch with me and the bigger kids. I got two more toys. It doesn't go in here. A I unicorn. And Georgie's helping. Um, we're trying this new thing where he only gets like two hours a day to play Whoa. on his video games, and so now he's going to be out here with me and Abel once Jade goes down for her nap. And Knox will probably still be awake, even though he really needs a nap, but you know how that goes. <laughs> you want to see him crawl again? I love this thing, y'all. I'll share about it a little bit later, but this thing is so cute. And the kids love this guy, too. All of them do, actually. And then we got our wobble board. Just kind of line this stuff up here, so I don't really know where to put everything.
had to sit down for a minute, but I just changed my clothes and just some more comfy clothes because I was feeling gross. I was like sweating, cleaning, and I need to shower still, which obviously I do, but um, instead of waiting till I shower to change my clothes, I was like, I have to change into something else because I'm super hot, I'm sweaty, I just feel gross. And who knows when I'm gonna get to shower because I wanted, I've been wanting to forever. Now that Jade's gone down for her nap, I'm gonna do lunch for me and the older boys and for Knox. I'll probably make him something because he only had a snack um, about, I don't know, like 20 minutes ago. And then I'm gonna give him a bath. He's gonna go down for a nap and then hopefully I will get to shower. And that time, I don't know what the boys are gonna do, but I'll have to figure something out for them to do because I don't want them playing video games or watching videos on YouTube. We've been doing way too much of that and I really want to get a hold of that and cut the time down. So I need to find something for them to do. But the house is looking great. My kids have been helping out, which I love and they've been doing awesome at it so it helps me out i just it's great so the house definitely looks good i just have a lot of laundry that needs to get finished um and then i would like to clean my room i still need to vacuum but i'll probably save that for tonight because i also want to shampoo the carpets um i need to do that so i'll do those back to back tonight once everybody goes to sleep but y'all i cannot believe that he's crawling now and i feel like he's gonna be one of those kids that like started crawling and then immediately goes to walking because it's only been a week and a half and all he wants to do is try to stand up on his own he tries to find places to pull himself up and he has tried to take a couple steps before obviously holding on to something but <laughs> like oh my god oh so y'all wish me luck on that and i will keep you updated okay so we're making turkey and cheese sandwiches today and we're gonna try them with this ciabatta bread that I got from HEB, these little ciabatta loaf things. I haven't had ciabatta bread in a long time. I usually buy like submarine loaves, I think is what they're called, and they're so yummy for subs. Um, and then I'm gonna add some romaine lettuce on mine and Abel's and then barbecue chips, y'all, with this is mesquite smoked turkey breast and provolone cheese. Oh my gosh, it is so good. And then I like mayo on mine. Um, Georgie likes ketchup and mayo. And then I told the boys that we could split this because they're always asking for soda so they're gonna get a little bit of that and then i'm trying to cook up some pears for baby boy to see if he would like those he hasn't eaten pears yet so this will be his first time um and i think you're supposed to steam them <laughs> but i don't have a steamer so i'm just putting them in water and try to soften them a little bit let them cool and then he will try those out First, we're gonna have our yogurt, something he can hold himself. These are the, hold on, boo-boo. The Go-Go Squeeze Yogurts and Strawberry. Here you go, boo. So we've got, those are the pears I sliced up. I tried to get them kind of thin, or at least long and thinner for him to hold and to take a chunk off of. And then since we were eating turkey, I figured I would just rip up some of the deli, the turkey from the deli from our sandwiches for him. Um, this is the first time he's having that and this, so we'll see how both go for him, how he likes them, if he can chew it up and swallow right. He figures it out. This is one of the bamboo bamboo suction plates. These are, this is the fox plate, and then we also have a bowl, but so I like this because you have, you know, the different compartments to put it in, plus it looks super cute. <laughs> And the black mat is in the dishwasher right now because I need to clean it from earlier and I didn't have time, so I just threw it in there. For now, we'll just wipe off his tray once he's done. Now mommy needs to sit down and eat her lunch. Finally, now that I got all you guys settled. This is my favorite way to take a bath. 
sit right next to it and watch the water come out and feel it in his hands. This is his favorite. First time I ever saw you. I fell in love when you entered the room And when the light hit your face We were just kids but I knew right away That I will be with you until I stop breathing I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating Oh, hold me close Promise you won't let go I'm nothing without you I don't know what I would do without you You are the one I choose I wanna grow old with you I'm nothing without you I don't know what I would do without you Don't touch the camera. Gonna break it. Isn't that cutie patootie? Boop. <coughs> oh. Ooh, no. Isn't that cutie patootie? He's like, sure, yeah, that is me. Are you tired? Are you ready to take your nappy? That one. one. He looks like he is tired. Hello. I was holding the camera the whole time. <laughs> What are you guys doing now? Are you going to go out and finish cleaning your stuff? I don't know. <laughs> where I'm going to get a shower and get myself ready. It's 3 p.m. so I'm not gonna do like makeup and all of that but I am gonna change my clothes into something that is not uh, comfy clothes I guess you would say. I don't know. Just get dressed for the day even though I know it's later in the day I'm not really going anywhere um, but I just feel better when I do that for myself. So you guys just saw baby boy fell asleep I usually have to lay down with him and his second nap of the day to get him to fall asleep and I breastfeed and the minute I laid him down I was going to get those clothes done first and then lay down with him and he passed out like right away so that was perfect <laughs> so he's asleep in this the door right here I only closed it because the AC unit is on for the noise for him and it's kind of loud I try to make sure that I check on him constantly once he's asleep he's asleep for like an hour um, at least so I have an hour to take a shower real quick, change my clothes, and get ready for the day. But before I jump in the shower, I figured I would just share kind of like my skincare routine and my hair routine, all of those products and stuff in case any of you guys are wondering or even care <laughs> or just need some new products to check out or ideas. So the first thing obviously to take a shower, you need shampoo and conditioner. So I am, I have been using this Kristen S from, I buy it from Target. This is the one signature shampoo and conditioner, same one. What I do actually with the shampoo is I put a little, a couple drops of my purple shampoo from uh, Fanola and I put it in like a toner bottle with some water in it, a couple drops of that and then a little bit of the shampoo and I shake it up and it really helps to be able to get it all over the head evenly and make sure that it lathers up and all that. Plus I'm not using 
like too much of my products and it all going down the drain it's actually all getting used so it lasts longer which is great so i do those two in my purple shampoo of course when i wash my face i always i use this set of film the gentle skin cleanser this is great and when i wash my face i take my eyelashes off and really rub this gentle cleanser on my eyebrows and my my eyelids and my eyelashes just to make sure I get all the grunge and extra makeup or anything that's left over off. I am about to, I'm waiting on this package to come in today because I'm getting ready to do a campaign with this um, beauty and skincare company and I'm super excited about this and it's all about tanning. So get ready for that video coming soon. It'll probably be out after this video. To get ready for that, I need to exfoliate my body and I like to use the Dr. Teal's Epsom Salt Body Scrub. This is the lavender one, Exfoliate and Renew. I really like this stuff. This stuff is really nice. Of course, I love Dr. Teal's for all of their products. So when I saw they had this, I jumped at it. And it's definitely a favorite right now. Okay, so once I get out of the shower and I've done all of those things, then I do my facial routine, which is I use all Good Molecule products and y'all i have been using these since christmas time or right before christmas and i love them they are amazing hands down the best products i've used so far and i've tried tula and l'oreal and uh what is that neutrogena like all of those different ones i've tried them all so far i love these and if you guys are interested i'll try to link everything that i'm sharing right now but i will say the good molecules i do have an affiliate link with them so if you do order through my links for these it doesn't charge you any extra for me to get a commission and it's a very small commission but still i'm so grateful when you do but i just wanted to let y'all know that and again that's not the reason why i love these because i get a commission because i know some people are like oh that's the only reason why people push these products i honestly like they sent me these to try out in december and just to see how it goes first and i fell in love with them and then they put me on kind of like full time i guess with their company i don't know how all that works but they sent me a code and they sent me a link so that i can get commission from it and i'm so grateful to them and i'm grateful to you guys but i start with the brightening toner and i've already noticed a difference now i don't think there's one product out there that just like completely diminishes your dark spots or any of that stuff i don't know if that's even exists but i do say i do want to say though that i have noticed up here i have some dark spots sunspots from not wearing sunscreen when i was younger and a little bit right here on my cheeks too sometimes i get it kind of like that mustache right there and this spot up here has definitely brightened already it's definitely gotten lighter it's not as dark when i don't wear makeup so i love that um, so I do use this. I don't use it religiously. Like I'm not really good at using it every single time that I wash my face. I probably should, but sometimes I'm in a hurry and I don't want to do all these steps. So I, I skip this one, but I do have to say, I do love it. And it's not drying either. That's another thing. These products are not drying and they are all good for you. They're natural products. They are eco-friendly. They are paraben free and they're non-toxic all the good stuff in these products. And then the next two ones I add on is this Super Peptide Serum. This is for fine lines and wrinkles, which I, I have some on my forehead and then right here. And then I'm starting to get those ones, kind of like those crow's feet right here. So those are the main places that I like to put it and then I'll kind of dab it in. And then I have the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which if anybody knows about facial products, they know that hyaluronic acid is great for your skin because it helps seal in the moisture and get all that moisture in your skin. And going through all these pregnancies and having all these babies and going through postpartum, y'all, my skin has gone up and down between oily and super, super dry. And this past two, I've gotten really dry skin. So I really needed something. And that's what I told them. I was like, I need something for my dry skin. So they sent me these products curated for that. And I love this. I put it on my face, I put it on my neck, I put it on my chest area. This stuff I love and I'm almost out. I have like a drop left, I need to get more. And then lastly, I do the silicone free priming moisturizer. This stuff is great. It's not super, it's not super thick, it's very lightweight, 
but it feels creamy at the same time. Like you can really feel the moisture in it, but it's not oily or sticky either. Anyways, I definitely love this moisturizer. If I'm like in a super hurry and I just don't have time to do anything, I put on the hyaluronic acid and then I put this on and I'm good to go. Um, and then one of the newer products that I got from them is this Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. And this stuff, y'all, if you were a mom, you already know. We are exhausted every day. We get those dark circles, we get bags under our eyes, and this stuff really helps to wake my eyes up in the morning when I put it on. I mean, I'll put it on today even after I get out of the shower at three o'clock in the afternoon. But I just love the way it feels. It has a little bit of like a cooling effect as well. And these are even, this is even great too to put on and then put on some of those little eye patch, gel patch things on there. I love that combo. And then I go in with my Dime Eyelash Boost Serum. I just started using this probably a month ago. I haven't taken an after picture yet, but I did do a before just so I could do the before and after and see any kind of results. Cause I know everybody's different. Some people like rave about this product and say that their lashes have grown so much and you can see the difference. And then there's some people that are like, well, it worked, but not, you know, I didn't, it didn't grow a ton. So I do know that everybody says you have to be very religious about making sure you do this every single day and i will tell you that i have forgotten a couple times <laughs> but i do try to remember to put this on every single time i get out of the shower and wash my face or every night before i go to bed um, and then sometimes i'll even do it again in the morning just to give it a little extra but it's just a little wand you know with this little tip on it and you just put it right kind of on the lash line. You can do it on your bottom lashes as well. And then I've also put it in a couple spots on my eyebrows where I feel like there's no hair. <laughs> the hair is like barely there. And then to top that off, we put on some deodorant and I just started using this public goods deodorant and I love it. I love, love, love it. I do have a video on public goods and all the things that I got from them. And this is one of them. And I've been wanting to try to get into a more natural and, you know, non-toxic deodorant. I don't know, y'all. I was so hesitant. I've heard bad reviews from other places. So when they sent me this one, I was like, yes, I'm definitely going to try it out and see how it goes, you know. And so far, I am a huge fan of this. I love this. I feel like it works way better than anything else I've ever used. It's not sticky feeling. I don't have this horrible odor. I literally don't sweat as much as I used to. And I have been a sweater, y'all. Like I, my arms, my armpits would sweat like no matter what. So I definitely love that about this. And then I use my, we always gotta put on something to smell, make us smell good. Even sometimes I spray this in my hair to make my hair, you know, have like some, perfume for your hair. This is from Dossier and um, I have like four different, yeah, four different ones from them. They are a company that sells designer inspired fragrances, but for way less price just because they get rid of all the extra taxes and marketing markups and like celebrity endorsements and, you know, TV commercials, stuff like that. So they're able to get you literally all these smell exactly like they say they're inspired by. It's amazing. So this one's the Floral Peony and this is the one that I've been going to towards lately the most. I really like them. Their scents are no more than $49 a piece, some $29, some $39. And you can try it out and send it back. If you don't like the scent, you can always send it back risk-free, no questions asked, and get a refund, or you could even try a different one out. And they have the unisex scents, they have classic scents, they have men, women, whatever you need, they got it. So I love their perfumes. And this is the one, Floral Peony is the one I've been using lately. And after I get out of the shower, I'm going to be putting on a new set of Flutter Habit Lashes. That is what I've been using a lot recently. I started getting their little uh, monthly subscription. So it comes with, you can tell, like I've already used a bunch of these. This is the original and it's like one of the bigger, more, it's like thick and long lashes. They're very like va va boom kind of thing. Very dramatic, but I love that. So I have the original. I have used the Flirt before this one, and I do like the Flirt as well. I like both of those. Um, I, I usually can wear these for about five days straight, 
and then I will take a shower, take them off, and put a new set on. So today I do need to put a new set on, and then I have their lash glue to put those on. But I did want to share with y'all earlier when I was giving baby boy a bath, or I guess after I gave him a bath, I used these noggin wipes, and this company sent me these just to try out. I, there's no affiliate link, or I don't get any commission if you buy this product i will link them down below though because i do think this is a great thing to have if you are pregnant and you're going to have a baby soon these are great they're for cradle cap for baby's head if you don't know what that is google it cradle cap it'll come up with a picture and it can get really annoying really quickly and there's a lot of things out there but this guy y'all is perfect because all it is is a little wipe on one side it has an exfoliating side and you take the wipe and you rub it on their head and it gets all that stuff up but then what's on the wipe actually comes in and moisturizes the scalp and helps prep it so that no more cradle cap can come back now not only do newborns get this but also elderly people and then i've heard people use it for which i just did this for baby boy i used it behind his ears because you know how you get like that crap especially kids and babies will get crap right behind their ears and kind of crusty so that helps with this but i've also heard women and men say they use it on their itchy dry scalps or if they have dandruff on their scalps just in general so i thought i would go ahead and use it on myself as well um, but I use it on everybody if we need to. I definitely recommend these. So baby boy has a, a rash on his private area, but not on his butt. It's all on the front and kind of down his on one side of his leg. And at first I was like, oh, he has a rash, like, you know, a, a butt rash, a diaper rash. And so I need to use my rash cream. So I used the rash cream for two days and it did absolutely nothing. It looked horrible. Then I started to really look at it and I was like, okay, it's got all these little bumps on there. It's not necessarily just red and raw. It's actually like bumpy skin. And I remembered that Abel had the same problem at one point. And for the longest time, I would like air it out all the time. And I would be putting all these creams on it. I finally took him to the pediatrician and I was like, what is this? Because I have been tried all the creams. I've done everything. I let it air out. I don't put a diaper on him, like all these things. What the heck is this? I can't get rid of it. And he said what it was, was a fungus. You know, all funguses happen because if they're wearing a diaper and it's hot and humid in there, and right now it's summertime, so it's gonna be hot and humid no matter what with that diaper. Everything's closed in, it's wet, there's moisture, there's humidity, it's dark. That is like the perfect setting for fungus to grow. And I think fungus, that word just sounds so gross. And it doesn't look that gross, y'all. It's just bumpy and red. But he said the best thing for that was to go to Walgreens and buy Lotramine antifungal, which this is athlete's foot cream is pretty much what this is. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> you want me to put athlete's foot cream on my baby's privates? And he was like, yeah, you need to put it on their skin. Every time you change his diaper, you know, wipe it clean, make sure everything's really clean. And then put a little layer of this on there, rub it in really good. So when I saw baby boys wasn't getting better with that cream, I remembered that we still, we keep this on hand just in case. It's a little one, Lotramine. I put it on there two times now. This last time I did it was the third time and it's already clearing up amazingly. Like it's almost gone already. So I just wanna say that now don't just run out and get this and put it on your baby's rash if they have a rash and you think it looks like that. Definitely take your baby to the pediatrician, but I will just let you know if they say something like, oh, it seems like it's more of a fungus, then you know you could use Lotramine or really any antifungal um, medication or athlete's foot medication is good. Okay, y'all, I've already picked out my outfit of what I wanna wear. I'm gonna jump in the shower, get myself ready, and then baby boy will be awake. I know Jade is already awake, but my husband's in there with her. The boys are doing amazing with their chores. Y'all, I am so proud of them. They have been doing great today, helping me around the house, helping clean, and I've given them a little list for them to check off of things to do while I was in here and they've already done all of them. I'm really trying to get on this schedule because y'all with four kids, it's hard to figure out everybody's activities all day and keep them busy so that they're not faced in a screen or watching video games or playing video games and watching videos and movies all day. It's really, really hard with four kids and especially two that are younger and that really need me. I can't really give my time to my older two. I try my best, but it is so hard y'all. So. Like when we have lunch time together, then that's my time to talk to them and hang out. And we clean together, which I loved that today when they cleaned with me because we could talk and we can do things together and have fun. Um, 
but I still need to find some good activities for them and it's so hard because they're older and the things that I do with the babies they're just not interested in. I mean Abel sometimes is but I don't know y'all if y'all have any recommendations for things to do with kids that are like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, <laughs> let me know in the comments please because I need some ideas for the boys. When he gets on the games, I'm like, okay, you get two hours. When the timer's done, game's off for the rest of the day, no more. Like, that's it. But y'all, I need help. What else is he gonna do <laughs> the rest of the day? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. So if I take too long, then the baby's gonna be up, then I'm gonna lose my time frame. All right. All right, y'all changed my clothes. I blow dried my hair just a little bit. I put a little bit of makeup on. I haven't put my lashes on yet just because it takes some concentration and the kids are getting rowdy because all of them are awake now. But I have this little um, flutter top, tie-dye flutter top from Target. It's like a crop top. And then their little denim, these are like purple wash denim shorts, high-rise denim shorts. Jade's trying to get in here. Mommy! Hold on, baby! Do your kids like put their face right at the crack of the door and yell your name? Boo Bear, what do you think? He says, I want you to pick me up, Mom. Jade's got a fly swatter. Kids are trying blueberries. I don't know why. I don't think I've given them blueberries before. I bought them for baby boy, but the boys and Jade are trying them out and they like them. So that's good. And we got baby boy settled with some toys so mommy can start dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this beautiful girl. Let's see, turn around, let me see your hair. Y'all, look at how long her hair has gotten. <laughs> she just wants her face on there. Let's see, turn around, let me see. <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at that hair, girl. Flip that hair, flip that hair. <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready to make dinner. Tonight we're gonna do this home chef fried chicken, honey Carolina gold barbecue sauce and green beans. But I was gonna share with y'all, I just made like a dessert or a snack. It's called Muddy Buddies, if you've ever heard of it. It's just Chex, this um, cereal. I like to mix the chocolate Chex with the corn Chex. And you're supposed to do chocolate chips and then add peanut butter, but instead I just buy these, the milk chocolate and peanut butter flavored chips. I get three bags of these for two boxes of cereal and then I add three sticks of butter to that and it makes like this many. This is like a big bag and this was like what was left over. And then you put it all in a bag with the powdered sugar and shake it up and that's it. And these are absolutely delicious and addicting. So I don't really recommend it unless you're gonna get addicted to it like me. <laughs> and of course, obviously this is not, this is a very sweet treat. And these are super popular in the holidays, but we like them year round. So I have a bag of these always in the pantry. They're just awesome. The kids are getting crazy right now. So I need to get this, <laughs> I need to get this dinner done as quickly as possible because everybody's going, Nutso and getting restless. So let's get dinner started. Oh lordy. But I do love Home Chef. I think it just makes life so much easier with kids. So if you've never tried it before, I definitely recommend it.
<laughs> well, our house is crazy, but dinner was a success. It was amazing. Even Suki, she always gets our, our leftover foods. She eats real good in this home. Raise your hand if your kids love to play in boxes more than they like to play with any toy. Mom, I can't do it. Okay, brother will help you. <laughs> and look at Boo Boo Bear. He loves it. He's so happy right now that he can stand. <laughs> No. Look at him. Oh, look at him doing his jig. Hey, Sissy, no, not on brother. Wait for him to move. Jade, you're going to hurt him, baby. Thank you, Mama. Wait for brother to move, please. Boo bear. You going to hold Mama's hand? <laughs> look at him so excited. Is it like this at your house, too, where your kids get, like, really rowdy at nighttime? <laughs> I feel like at night it gets worse than any time. But we are watching Smallville because my husband is obsessed with Smallville. <laughs> and now I'm starting to really like it. <laughs> so I wanna see what happens. Oh, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're new because we'd love to have you here. And now I need to go get all these kids in bed so I can have some me time with hubby. Bye, y'all.